Hello everyone. Um, I hope you're doing amazing in your lives and managing with your dreams. I want to give this testimonial to all of your hearts out there who are not actually even aware of your vision uh, or who are discovering yourself and um, who want to make the most out of this whole life experience in this lifetime. So what was your life and business like before this experience? Um, it was really complicated, I would say. And I was feeling weak and disempowered and not compassionate and really hard on myself in many areas of my life. And whenever I was doing this uh, life circle exercise, all my relationships were really hard and like just I was giving like one or two points out of ten to my relationships like relationship with my boyfriend relationship with my family like social relationships or any kind of relationship so uh, I can say my life and business were dependent on the relationship quality that I was having and they have expanded immensely uh, but they were like really bad states because I was so hard on people and myself in general and I was kind of almost cool uh, I would say like out of compassion this is how I was what hesitations did you have when debating whether or not to join the mastermind? Um, it was basically a lot of money. Like I've never invested myself that much money, which was uh, almost like a third of what I was earning per year. Uh, yeah, it was more than that, probably like half of what I was earning in a year. Um, this was like my first hesitation. And second of all, I was really afraid what would come up as a healing process. I was like not trusting myself to go through the healing processes. And uh, because I worked with Emily before, I almost bought all of her programs. Um, I've trusted her and myself um, that I could do it. And I basically like she empowered so much uh, at the beginning of our call. I trusted her and myself as well to go through this experience so it was more like um can i be able to do this this time with this big am i going to be able to play this big this time and um is it time to commit now you know and pay that much money like commit financially commit uh, internally commit physically like and do everything basically that these were my hesitations like I was so afraid with the rage and anger coming up um, instead of like having a compassionate and loving life um, and to actually face with my own power I thought it would be difficult but it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't as I expected to be it was not difficult at all I can say like it was easier a lot easier than i thought a lot more pleasure and fun um because you know spiritual journey can be very frustrating so uh and not fun <laughs> at all and it can take long times but this was like the contrary it was like effortless it was uh, fun and pleasurable and all that yeah. stuff how have your life and business changed since the beginning part of the mastermind attending the costa rica retreat i have been empowered this is like the word that keeps coming up for me i have been more compassionate with myself with my body with my soul with um my finances with my clients with uh, with how i deal with life in general i found compassion and softness and um, pleasure and play uh, while living life instead of uh, going through all in my head and trying to figure things out uh, in my head and or being stuck in those relationships um, or relationship status that i was having um, or this energy basically this hard energy that was coming up and i didn't know how to deal with it so basically i have transformed it it transcended <laughs> as light <laughs> or something like one aspect 
what happened of what happened um second of all the pleasure and play and the ease of it uh, while doing it with other women as well and this intimate experience of this mastermind gave me uh the space and silence and time and intimacy that i needed that i didn't even know that i needed and uh it got me closer to my heart to my body to myself to my business to with my partner with my family with my community uh this is the second aspect so the more i've empowered i've been empowered and the more i have extended my vision and expanded my energy basically and softened like really found my own power uh the, str the more like the stronger i got uh, basically um, to believe in myself and my vision and i started seeing bigger visions and i started being initiated to bigger visions with other women who were playing it bigger uh, literally <laughs> uh, this is like a third aspect and that fourth aspect is that i'm feeling so abundant and I'm like embodying abundance uh literally and like physically and spiritually and emotionally i am instead of like oh how does that work or how can i get there or um how does she do it how are these women who are playing bigger are playing? I got to a point where like, not questioning how or why or when. <laughs> I got to a point where I'm like, oh, of course, this is like me and I embody this, I am that. And then you're like not in your head anymore, you just embody it, you come to your heart space, you come to your physical space and um so you basically <laughs> just find the beauty within and you're like oh of course you know <laughs> and of course this is how to go of course i am abundance of course i am love of course i am compassion of course these qualities i have always been carrying within myself and my soul like you find them in your soul and your soul's guidance you start following your soul's guidance instead of looking for answers outside of yourself or in your head, basically. And um, the attending Costa Rica retreat especially. Uh, so here is like really safe. It's a really safe space and it's, you can find everything, like literally everything. Like you can find uh, amazing clothes, amazing food, amazing nature, amazing culture. Uh, amazing heritage and ancestry and amazing like energy of the land is just inviting so inviting it's vibrating so high and abundantly that just literally transforms you like you don't even understand how it just happened in a week <laughs> so you basically get results that you would get in five months or six months in a week maybe more you know maybe like like i think i would have gotten that big vision that i have right now in maybe three years if i didn't invest in myself if i didn't uh commit and if i were, weren't um devoted to this path and committed to really doing whatever it takes uh so in a week you just go so wide open and you don't even understand how this all happened. Like, so basically Costa Rica retreat is just magical. It's such a magical experience. It's full of, full of self-care, full of love and full of um, abundant experiences. And Emily makes it so nurturing, like the food you eat. You, we got everyday morning yoga and so the sun comes up at 5 a.m in the morning which is like amazing like you just get up at five and you're like refreshed and you're like kind of tired around 9 9 30. so you're like you go to bed really early you wake up really early you're feeling refreshed you start the day with yoga with nourishing food and then you have these amazing excursions that she planned for you or like activities like ecstatic dance and and or a dinner somewhere or like um like we have visited the butterfly valley and 
that kind of stuff. And then you meet locals. And so she has been doing retreats here before. So she has a lot of experience, she knows the land, she's kind of like integrated with the land. That makes it all so easy. So you're like, oh my God, I'm in the wilds and everything is so wild. I am rewilding here. And it is such a, in a such safe way and such a pleasurable way that you would never be able to do it on your own. I think I would just freak out from the animals here. I would freak out the bugs or whatever. I wouldn't be able to get really closer with the locals or, you know, and have planned all these excursions and stuff for myself. And it doesn't make sense to do it on your own as well. So with this intimacy with the group and having to meet them every day and having these amazing circles and um, sharings together and gatherings together, like really sacred sisterhood circles together and even sharing the same house as sisters, like we have known each other for, for <laughs> forever, <laughs> just gives you the space and time to devote yourself to your bigger vision. And I think nothing else would have done this if I didn't come here. So the last question is, how would you explain this mastermind and retreat experience to someone who is unaware? <laughs> so I was one of them uh, because I followed Emily for a long time, for around five years now. And like she has been talking about retreats. She has been talking about um, how important they are and why you have to attend one of them and which is like an immense experience that she was just writing about it, talking about it. She keeps talking about this all the time. Like it got me so long to devote myself to this experience. I wish I would have done it earlier. Uh, but yeah, you know, <laughs> divine timing. And so I can say it is so important that I can't express even with words. Uh, to have this kind of experience if you are in this kind of work. Like if you're in your soul's path, you're walking it for a long time, or you know that you are going to be walking it, uh, you're just awakened or your awakening just started, uh, you need support. You will need support. Like you will need support that you don't even know how kind of what kind of a support that you need <laughs> and basically this is exactly what you need this is all i can say like i didn't even know that this was exactly what i needed before she came up with this program or before like she came up with any other kind of program who had which had retreats in it and um just because they're so intimate and you have a lot of time to devote silence with yourself and it's it gets you out of your daily habits that you would have at home you know like i'm from turkey and in turkey when i'm living my life i have certain habits that i do every day it just breaks all the patterns and it guts you from other habits that and then it puts you in some other habits that you have never done before or habits that you wouldn't do if you were alone at home so it gets you, it puts you in a space and energy level and vibration that you have actually never been before. And the intimacy that you get in here and the sacred and devoted time that you get in here, uh, you will also never have it in a virtual experience. Okay, it's nice and it's good. It's important for your whole support uh, from like other communities of women, if you are in this vision uh, of supporting women, especially. It is very important. Like it's very important to have, aside from the virtual experience, have this physical experience and walk this path, like really walk it, really experience it, really embody it, really rewild. Uh, so it initiated me to a bigger vision to come to Costa Rica. It initiated me to do to extend like it was a big leap for me and it still is a big leap for me and it's getting bigger and bigger which would normally scare me but it doesn't anymore because it's it feels so comfortable and so true and so right that i would never imagine it would be that easy <laughs>
thank you so much and i wish you an amazing life and amazing time bye